and there we are. Okay, so here we are with the uh, LabQuest Vernier handheld computer, along with a SpectraViz Plus spectrophotometer. And this is a brief tutorial on how to uh, how to use this instrument. You'll see that the uh, we're set up here to connections the connections that we've got. We've got the power in to the uh, to the LabQuest, and then the USB cable out into the uh, SpectraViz. This particular SpectraViz gets powered by the UV uh, through the USB, and so it doesn't need a uh, a power. And I've got a few cuvettes, some water. Um, some uh, red dye and two different concentrations of green uh, green dye. Perhaps hard to see in this light. First thing we'll do: press the button, turn it on. Press the button a little harder, and up it comes. And uh, if everything is set up, connected f uh, already, we'll see that the uh, um, we'll see that the LabQuest will detect the SpectraViz, and up it comes. And notice how it is asking for uh, it is showing us absorbance, so it knows that a spectrophotometer is connected. Now there are a couple things that we need to do first. Uh, to uh, we need to calibrate our uh, our spectrometer, and I'm just going to take the uh, stylus, click on the red area. Up comes calibrate, change wavelength, and change units. You see that? And I'm going to click on calibrate. Takes it a little bit to uh, load. First at the top here, it says waiting 87 seconds for the uh, for the lamp to warm up. We are going to let this lamp warm up. I can use a little bit of. Uh, video magic to uh, to speed this up so you don't have to sit here while watching this video but uh, you do need to do this if you're sitting in the lab notice how it says place a cuvette in the device to finish calibration I'm going to use the uh, the water as the blank and I'm going to put it in like so there we are and finish calibration wait until the OK comes up. should take around 5 to 10 seconds. If it takes much longer than that, then there may be a problem. So uh, uh, check with your professor. If it still sits there after, say, 10 seconds, um, hit OK. And now we're, uh, uh, we're back here. Um, let's go ahead and put a, uh, a sample of interest in. I'm going to put in the, uh, the green dilute sample. And we are in full mode spectrum, our mode is full spectrum, as it shows here, and all I need to do is hit the play button in the lower left hand corner, and up comes the spectrum. Okay, now I can, uh, in, before I manipulate the spectrum, I do need to stop, it's actively collecting right now, so I'm going to hit the stop button, and now it stops. It auto scaled, and one of the things I can do, for example, in the uh, post processing, I can click and drag. See how that highlights uh, highlights part of the area. It's a little darker on the actual screen than it is in the video, and then I can go up to graph and uh, zoom in, and that zoomed right into that uh, uh, that peak. So I can cl single click. It gives me a cursor in the lower right hand corner that tells me that this wavelength is 627.9 so what if I now want to collect uh, the absorbance at that point at 627.9 the way I would do that is to go back to the original click full spectrum and here we have a variety of options if we click down we can do time-based events with entry so on and so forth we're going to choose time-based 
and right now it's set up uh, the default is to set up to collect uh, um, a sample um, every two seconds that should be sufficient for us we're not actually collecting time series we're taking advantage of uh, of one of the options notice how it does know that we have some unsaved data I'm going to discard that data right now because I don't care but if you wanted to save it you can now notice how it's already selecting the absorbance that I had uh, I had chosen previously so if I take my sample out and put in say the uh, colorless sample we see that the absorbance is effectively it's pretty close to zero I can also take out the uh, the standard or the uh, uh, the calibration solution and put in a red solution. So it does red absorb at the same wavelength as the uh, the green does, and we see that the red has very little absorbance. Um, it's different from the background, but very negligible. 0 0.024 in this case, the background. is around 0 0.002, so very close to zero. And the green is 0.958, so it's uh, the green is fairly uh, strong absorbing in this region as opposed to the uh, uh, the other two. Now I could take a uh, higher concentration solution and I would expect that solution to have uh, a larger absorbance, and yes it does. Notice how this value here, 1.8, is very high, uh, and this value is most likely outside of the uh, the linear region for uh, a Beer-Lambert plot. Typically, we want to keep our absorbance values below uh, below one. So this color here was pretty much at the uh, uh, at the limit. Notice how I never even had to press start or stop here. This is just a, a, a dynamic screen displaying. So if all I'm doing is recording the absorbance at a particular wavelength and jotting those that information down in my laboratory notebook, I can use this instrument fairly quickly for that uh, purpose. Um, if you're familiar with using a spectrometer 20, then uh, this uh, I like to refer to this as spec 20 mode. This is uh, very similar to that. So. Let's go back to mode, and let's just demonstrate full spectrum one more time. There we are. Click full spectrum. Hit OK. Now I'm going to go over to my spectrum here. Let's see. OK, we're here. I'm going to collect collect this uh, uh, the spectrum of this sample stop now let's say I want to compare that to the red one I can go up here and hit the file cabinet and that's going to store it notice how it says run to now so I can go and swap in the red one there we are and I can press play and there's the red red one notice how this one is very very concentrated the absorbance here this value is 2.5 so these are this solution here is really just for demonstration i wanted something that you could you could see in the video but this solution is far too concentrated for you to uh, uh, to use in a uh, an actual experiment um, okay so once i collect it or hit stop now i can go over to run and select all runs and I can see the difference between the two uh, uh, the two spectra and we can see here that the green solution which was absorbing fairly strongly at 627 is not being is not a wavelength that is uh, absorbed by the red solution and this makes sense red solutions are transmitting red and so you would expect there to be very little absorbance in that region and green is absorbing all but red so we'd expect to see the red and the blue. 
So that's a brief introduction to how to use this uh, uh, the the lab quest, the Vernier lab quest with the SpectraVis, full spectrum mode, and time-based analysis mode.